right, guys, so what I've got here is the Tamarack Rally 7, 5, one of the rally bags. Anyway, this is the one without the laptop compartment. Um, I picked this up because I canceled my order from b &H for the Blackmagic camera. If we open this up, you'll see what I replaced the Blackmagic Pocket Cam with. It's a Canon 6D body. These were on sale for $14.99 the other day, and it was too good of a deal to pass up. Plus, this works with all of my Canon glass, I don't have to use any adapters, and I have it right away. I'm not gonna have to wait a while for the Pocket Cam to finally be in my hands. I know a few people have started messing around with them, but that doesn't help me any, and I would like something to carry around with me right away. This bag is very nice looking. Tamarack makes some very nice bags. It's nice and small. It looks like a laptop bag or a little messenger bag, so it doesn't stand out as camera bag. And so that makes it a little bit more uh, concealed, I guess. The strap has some really good stitching here. It's stitched all the way down to the bottom of the bag, along with some X stitching there. You also see I've got the Zoom H1 attached to the strap here with uh, the Velcro on the back, so that makes it handy for a little field recorder if I need to do some audio samples or whatever. These little mesh bags on the side aren't too bad. I've got the camera memory cards right here in this little case. Stick that back in here, flip it around. You'll see that I've got the same deal on the other side. I've got a couple of extra batteries shoved in there. Opening this up, taking a look inside here. I've got my Nissan flash here. This uh, supports high-speed flash. It's one of my cheaper flashes, but it's pretty handy to carry around and it's a little bit lighter than the 580 X. EX2 or whatever. Uh, you can look in here, you'll see that there is plenty of space in here. There's actually enough room to fit a Canon 70 to 200 in this bag, which is pretty handy if you want to carry a big giant zoom around. In my case, I've got the Canon 8518 shoved in here. I've got the Canon 50. 1.4 shoved in here and you'll see that even with uh, the flash inside there's still plenty of room to stick other stuff in there. I've also got the 1735, my cheaper older uh, wide angle lens for travel on the 6D body. Taking a look inside here, unzip this, you can see that I've got one of those adjustable arms. This is the Dinkley arm here. It's a little bit smaller than the uh, nasty clamp, so I decided to go with that for you know mounting flashes to the wall or whatever. Got a battery charger in here. Got a couple more batteries, some USB cables, including that cable that allows you to attach your tablet to your camera in case I need a field monitor. And then I've got a cold shoe PL quick release plate. Let's set this back up. You can see that the only problem I have with this bag is the attachment for the flip over lid. It's got Velcro right here, which isn't bad, but it's not amazing. And then this one clamp, I would have liked to have seen a zipper around the top of this or something like that, a little bit more secure. Flip this up. And it does have this little track here that keeps it kind of, well, kind of in place. But it's not the most amazing way to attach it. I understand that they're trying to make this easy and quick so you can just flip it open, grab your camera, and close it again, and it's a little less conspicuous. But I wouldn't have minded a option to have this latch down when you don't plan on getting your camera out. Still, it's a great looking bag. Put it on your shoulder, the padding and everything feels pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with the bag. And you look at that right there. Do a little style show thing. Fits pretty good on my hip. Got all that equipment, two primes, and a zoom in here along with the flash. So it's pretty much set for photography as well as a little bit of video work with uh, the little tablet adapter and whatnot. There is one little pocket back here. It's probably big enough to put your iPad in or your, your Android tablet, but it isn't padded at all. The five 
the tam uh, Tamarack Rally 5 comes with an actual padded zipper case on the back of it, and that one is designed for iPad. And then the, I believe this is the 6, it's the 3446. This one just has this little bit right here, and the final version, the 7, I think the final version, anyway, the 7 has an entire uh, laptop compartment on it. So if you're looking for laptop as an extra bit, I don't like carrying my laptop in my camera bag because this is the part that rests on my hip and the laptop creates a hard spot that kind of bumps up against your hip and isn't very comfortable. Also, it's probably not very good for your laptop screen, so just something to keep in mind. This is a new format I'm adding to the site as I write up reviews and cover different stuff. It's kind of nice to have video to go along with the stuff that I'm writing about. So this is the first, hopefully not the last, in a line of videos to go along with my written reviews. This has been the Tamarack Rally 6 bag. And again, that is the 3446. There'll be information below.